Hey, I'm Ryan Hall. Welcome to my world and to my workout this morning. I hope that you guys enjoy getting to see what I do on a daily basis. This morning, uh, you know, I woke up 7 a.m. First thing, put down some, some breakfast. I like to have a shake before I run, so I put down like a 450 calorie shake, mostly carbohydrate, but about 20 grams of protein in there as well. And then after that, did a little light stretching session, and then, uh, and then we headed out the door for, for the workout. It was fun this morning because oftentimes Sarah and I's workout will line up a little bit. So Sarah was doing some repeat 800s. She's racing later this week, but she wanted to put in some work right around 5K pace, which is right around five minute pace for her up at altitude, which is about the pace that I was running today. So it worked out really well for me to just loop around. So I did five loops and she would catch on and run about a half mile of that with me and then jog back and then catch me again. We just did a 20 minute easy jog and did some drills and strides. And then uh, come back, change the shoes and then start the, the 15 mile tempo runs. For me, when I'm training for a marathon, I think the most key workouts are tempo runs and long runs. So that's really what I focus on. And uh, those are big, long, hard efforts. Like today, I was running 20, 21 miles this morning, go out for another four or five mile run this afternoon. So, you know, you're getting in 25, 24 miles in a day. In order to do that and have that be effective, you have to recover on the back end of that. And you have to go into it recovered as well. So when I look at structuring my week, I make sure I put in at least two easy days between workouts, which is different than what I used to do in the past, where I try and cram in three workouts in a week. And now, you know, I put in two workouts in a week and sometimes even less, and I take one day off just to make sure that my body's able to absorb the work that I'm doing. So I had a couple different pairs of shoes I was using this morning. I like to do my workout in something with a little bit more cushioning, that way I don't beat up my legs early on. And also, when you change into a lighter shoe, you feel that much better. So I was warming up in my gel cumulus and then came back and I changed into my gel hyperspeed. And uh, those, are, those are my babies. I love those hyperspeeds. I've been racing in those since 2007. And really, I haven't put on a racing flat that, that felt better than the gel hyperspeed. I'm really excited for the for my future and the future of my wife um, in in the running. I think that you know we're we're always pressing in for more breakthrough, and uh, we've seen some pretty incredible things. You know, running 204 at Boston was something that I wasn't sure I'd ever get to do. People are always asking me about a two-hour marathon and do they think it's possible and stuff like that. And um, I know it's possible, and I know that. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll see it in my lifetime, and I. And I don't believe that it's outside of my own capabilities if everything clicks right on the day and if God shows up and something amazing happens, I believe it can happen. So it's been a fun ride so far, but I think, I think the best is yet to come.